But what I'm dying to know in that main event is, are they going to wrestle this yeah, time? Yeah, for sure. Are they? You think so? No, I'm saying, like, for sure. Like, the yeah. same thought, right? Like, like I I'm just dying to know because we all thought, like, this is going to be the deciding factor, right? We're going to figure out I think there will be wrestler. some wrestling. Because, I think there will be because too. I think in the first fight there was so much animosity and they wanted to prove that they were the better boxer. I think this yeah. is the time they're going to want to prove who's the better wrestler. Yeah. I, I think it comes down to Covington more than Usman because I think Covington needs to get takedowns because he has to use it to try to tire Usman out. I think that was probably the biggest surprise for him in fight one was that the pace that he put on Robbie Lawler on RDA. You remember in Phil? I mean in, in Newark. Yeah. What he did to Robbie, that pace he put on him was, was crazy. Insane. But the pace was insane, not only from the hands, but also all the takedown attempts Robbie had to ward off. He didn't have to, he didn't do that to Usman. Usman was able to just stand with him, and he can do that. He needs to try to wrestle him more, make him scramble, make him just roll around on the ground to try to really attack the gas tank of Usman if he wants a chance. Because if he just stands with him with the improvements Kamaru's made, he's going to get knocked out again. Uh, if he's not careful. Yeah, I mean, he fought a very uncharacteristic. Colby did. That was not very, Colby. No, because Colby uses a lot of movement, a lot of feints, takedowns, and in this, in that first fight, all he did was stand there and box, and he took too many body hey, shots. Remember he had his hands down? Yeah. He told me that. I spoke to him, and he was like, you know, I wasn't myself. I didn't follow the game plan. Yeah. He goes, I'm in range with my hands down. I'm just taking the shots. He goes, this time I'm going to fight more. I'm going to fight smart. I'm going to fight like Colby Covington. And if Colby Covington is successful, Kobe Covington is getting takedowns in those fights. And how how big of a mental victory would that be for Kobe Covington to be the first person to land a takedown yeah. against Kamaru Usman? So if that happens on Saturday, that will be a wild moment that I think might be able to change yeah. the tenor of that fight because for Kamaru to land on his butt for the first time ever in the UFC octagon. You're like, what in the world's going on? Exactly. And exactly. honestly, on paper, on paper, and just on paper, Covington is supposed to be the better wrestler. Covington is the guy he that wasn't more. NCAA All-American, yeah. right? Kamara was a great wrestler in Division II, national champion. But on paper, that Division I All-American is supposed to weigh more. But ultimately, we have seen in many occasions that it doesn't just come down to that. We've seen guys like Yoel Romero get yeah, taken on right, the octagon right, by right. Derek Brunson. But on paper, Covington should be able to implement that game plan a little bit at least.